you're just going to write on your face like right now. <laughs> Do it. That is <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to get a cat tie going. <laughs> Kaufman, you're watching the Info Show. I'm Sarah. And I'm Rochelle. Now let's get on to the news. Attention all students. Student Council is having a fundraiser today at Max and Irma's on France Road. Flyers are available at Student Council Bulletin Board outside of the attendance office. Remember to bring a flyer and a friend. Bridge Builders Forum is an expo designed to provide Ohio's parents and students with college information. On October 27th, between 9.30 and 3.30, attend this free event at the Ohio Union to learn more about how to apply to college, financial aid, and college life. Over 30 Ohio colleges will be available at the Expo. The day will also include College Community Resource Fair. Hispanic males are especially encouraged to attend. Visit the Guidance Office for more information. Join Kaufman Connections at Jackman Farms Wednesday. Meet and be 158 at 3.30 to arrange rides and don't forget to bring $4. Physics Club will meet after school in room A208 today to watch the video from the History Channel's Universe series. All are welcome. Would you like to win a set of four Kumo tires or a $500 prepaid debit card or an enrollment in Honda Teen Driving Clinic? It is National Teen Driver Safety Week. KeyBank, Kumo Tires, and Mid-Ohio Schools are partnering to create a scholarship. You can enter by creating a 200-word essay or a 90-second video sharing what you have done with friends in, in the school or in the community to further safe driving among your peers. Deadline to apply is November 9th. All teams with a driver's license or learner's permit may participate. Details can be found at keytosafeteendriving.com. Attention all JSA members. There is a meeting Wednesday. Please plan to attend if you are interested in going to Fall State. Come experience Disney's Mulan Jr., the stage version of the... Popular Disney movie tickets are available at the door. It's $5 for students and $7 for adults. Attention French students. The next French club meeting is Wednesday in room B260. Don't forget your t-shirt designs and come to play games and eat food. There will be a Mu Alpha Theta informational meeting on Thursday after school in Mrs. Kowatch's room, A130. Applications are due to Mrs. Kowatch by November 9th. Free ACT prep sessions are being offered to Dublin City Schools for all students currently registered to take the ACT this Saturday. The one-hour informational sessions are being offered today and tomorrow. Pre-registration is required. Visit the Guidance Office for more information. Are you ready to hit the slopes? Ski Club will have a short meeting tomorrow right after school in the lecture hall. If you can't attend, see Ms. Milner for forms. Forms are also available in room B157, the main office, and Mr. Ulrey's room. All Drama Club members planning to participate in the Mulan Kids Camp must attend the informational meeting in the Little Theater after school today. This is mandatory. If there is a problem, please see Mr. Stowell or Meg Shockley. Do you like to draw but don't have time to take any art classes? Do you look at your math notes and see more random drawings than numbers? Then come to the first Doodle Club meeting tomorrow after school in room A136 and help members plan the school doodle wall to showcase members' creations. There will be a social studies club meeting before school on Wednesday at 7.30 in, the, in B154. TI members, please volunteer to help at the Dublin Spooktacular this Thursday after school at the Dublin Rec Center. There will be four shifts, so check your email for more, for more info. This counts as a community service event. Ping Pong Club will, meet, will have its first real meeting Thursday at 3 in the Commons. All are welcome. Even if you don't come to the first meeting, bring your ping pong paddles. Now let's go over to Kaylee with sports. Congratulations to the girls' golf team on the conclusion of a great season. The girls participated in the state championship this weekend at OSU's Gray Course and earned a fourth place finish. Great job, girls. Congratulations to the boys' varsity golf team who finished third in the state this weekend. The Rocks were led by Nick Sparling, Brian Syrak, Brian Truckley, F.T. Rower, Brennan Whitus, and Grant Guthrie. This is the fourth year in a row the Rocks have competed in the state tournament and the fourth year in a row the Rocks have finished fourth or higher. Special congratulations goes out to Nick Sparling, who won the individual state championship by two shots. 
Nick shot the lowest single day score in the history of the championship since Scarlett was renovated. Attention all boys golfers, please stop by Coach Woodmancy's room B167 as soon as possible to vote on postseason awards. The girls cross country team repeated as district championship champions Saturday behind all district performances were Rachel Weber, Rachel Bosworth, Julia Fries, Emily Lynch, Anna Weber, and Sana Kumar. The boys were third behind repeat district championship by John Sotos. Zach Bonds, Steve Popovich were finished all central district status. Both boys and girls teams will travel to Pickerington North on Saturday for a regional meet. That's all I've got. Now back to you. Teachers, if you would like your homeroom to be the homeroom of the day, email us at KauffmanTV at gmail.com. And remember, Kaufman, if you, meet, if you missed any of today's announcements, you can check them out on Kaufman's web, web page. That's all we have for today, Kaufman. Have a nice day.